guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing another pregnancy update today. I am 18 weeks pregnant now. This is going by so fast and I want to update you on how this pregnancy is going. I am feeling great. Like the second trimester is amazing after going through the first trimester and just the sickness and nausea and just all the stuff about the first trimester, get into the second trimester is so nice and I am just really trying to enjoy these weeks because I know only a few more weeks and I'll be starting to feel really uncomfortable and so this second trimester is just really nice. I am feeling so much better. Like people ask me how I'm feeling and honestly, I feel almost normal, <laughs> like I'm not pregnant. Um, with the exception of like my belly getting in the way sometimes and um, a little bit of heartburn at night. Other than that, like I am feeling almost normal. So that is really nice. It's nice to be back into a more normal routine. So my workouts are getting a lot more regular. Um, when change with that is I do always eat breakfast. I get up early and have breakfast. Then I do my workout. I was doing my workout first thing, but since being pregnant, I really just need to eat something first. Um, but really back to a normal routine. Like I'm not laying down on the couch. I don't need a nap in the afternoon most days. Um, my energy is back up. And so yeah, second trimester, so nice. My last update, I was 13 weeks and I said that I hadn't really felt movement but I thought maybe I had felt it one time. Um, I don't think I did <laughs> because I really have not felt much movement at all since then. Um, over the past two weeks maybe, I have felt movement a couple of times when I'm laying on my belly. I feel a little bit of movement. Um, and then there's just been one other time I think I was sitting there and I had my hands on my belly and I felt like three kicks. Um, definite baby movements. And then just a couple other little movements here and there I have felt, but very rarely. And so my first three pregnancies, like I told you guys before, I felt movement early and guaranteed by this stage I was feeling kicks every single day. Um, and then with my fourth pregnancy, Zara, I had an anterior placenta. So I am really starting to think I have an anterior placenta again. I really think I do. Um, so I have an ultrasound coming up in the next couple weeks. So I will definitely ask then <laughs> if I have one. My last midwife appointment, which was two weeks ago now, um, at my appointment, the midwife asked if I had felt movement and I said, no, I haven't. And I'm starting to think maybe I have an anterior placenta. And then just a couple minutes later, she put the Doppler on my belly to hear the heartbeat. And as soon as like, she found it like immediately, but as soon as she heard the first couple heartbeats, she said, oh, you might be right. It sounds really whooshy. That was the, those were the words she used. It sounded really whooshy. So almost like she was hearing the placenta before the baby's heartbeat. So anyways, I don't know, but that definitely is my thought that this baby's placenta is anterior. Um, and so it just takes longer to really feel movements, but I know in the coming few weeks, um, the baby will grow bigger and the placenta won't really be stopping me from feeling those movements anymore, which is nice because I love, I love feeling the baby's movements. I had um, a blood test done a few weeks ago and then at my last appointment, my midwife said that I was borderline anemic and asked me if that was normal and I said yes, I always am really low iron um, through my pregnancies and just a couple of them I've had to take the iron supplement but it hasn't been until like my second set of blood um, blood tests, like 30 something weeks. Anyways, um, so I don't think my, my iron is even usually as low as it is this time and so she didn't say like you need to take iron supplements but she said like it would be a good idea to. I still haven't gone to the store to get them but I really should. I was at Walmart this weekend. I should have done that. Anyway, I should get those soon and I'm sure by the time I reach the 30 something week blood tests that they will tell me um, I need to take iron supplements so I feel like I may as well take them now and then that will be better for the weeks coming up to all the weeks <laughs> until this baby is due. Um, another thing to update on is my due date and you may think that me being 18 weeks now is surprising since I was just 13 weeks not long ago and I did basically skip a week of pregnancy and so um, what happened is I've been charting like I chart my cycles and so by my dates I should be 17 weeks now not 18 weeks um, I had an ultrasound the day I turned 
12, sorry, <laughs> let me think about this. I had an ultrasound the day I thought I was 11 weeks. Um, I went for my ultrasound and the ultrasound tech said, you're 12 weeks today. And usually their measurements are supposed to be right on. Like if you have a um, ultrasound before your 12 weeks, it's supposed to be very accurate. Like a dating ultrasound, it's supposed to be very accurate for how far along you are. And so their measurement was a whole week different from what I thought I should be. And so I was kind of like a little bit nervous about it. Like I want to stick to my due date, not theirs, because I was charting and I am 99% sure of the day I ovulated just because of my charting. And so um, I was like, their date can't be right because the date that they gave me for when I was due says that I ovulated on day 10 of my cycle and I know I did not, um, there's no way. And so anyways, I was a little bit nervous about that because I was like, I don't want my date to be a week off from the due date the midwives are giving me because then all of a sudden it'll look to them like I'm a week overdue and it's actually my due date and then I just don't want to be induced too early or just anything like that. So I was a little bit nervous about it. And I spoke to my my midwife and said, can we stick with my dates or what should we do? And um, she said, I really want to stick with the ultrasound date because their measurements are very accurate. And she said, even if it is wrong, the wrong due date, your baby still was measuring to be due that date. And so we're going to stick with it. And the nice thing is it is the midwives. And so they're very relaxed and like they wouldn't even make me be induced at two weeks over. I could go over that if I want, if I really wanted to. And you know, we did a stress test and the baby was fine. So I'm not too concerned about it. And for a little bit, I was kind of thinking of both dates in my head and I'm like, no, I just have to stick with this date. So I am 18 weeks, even though by my calculations, I would be 17 weeks. But anyways, it kind of threw me off for a loop because it's like, this just totally <laughs> messed up in my head, like when I'm doing everything. But yeah, I am due very beginning of October. My belly has definitely grown <laughs> these last few weeks. Like it's definitely feeling a lot bigger and I like it because I, I'm not fond of the like thick stage where you just feel very thick and very big around the middle and just bloated, but nobody would see you and think you're pregnant. You just feel big. Um, and so once you start to actually get a belly, it just feels so much better because I feel like people who see me will know I'm pregnant, not just think that I'm kind of chubby. My belly is definitely kind of getting in the way more, like I bump into something or one thing I always notice um, all my pregnancies is that I'll be kind of like leaning over like if I'm washing dishes or something or even just washing my hands in the sink and then my shirt gets wet so often because instead of just kind of being like beyond the um, countertop, my belly's kind of like on the counter a little bit and then my shirts always get wet. So just little things like that where my belly is just, it's there, it's there and I am definitely becoming more aware of that. So I'm gonna give you a quick belly shot. So, See how well you can see that my dress is pretty loose today, but um, there it is. There's my 18 week belly. And that is it for today's pregnancy update. I am going to be filming a pregnancy Q&A in the next week or so. I have a few questions written down that I am going to answer. And if you have any other questions for me, please let me know down in the comments below and I will answer your question as well. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more updates. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.